Hey, it's Darlene. Welcome to my channel. I'm working on a two-page layout today. This is another two-page spread of my granddaughter's second two wild birthday party. So I am using a paper pad called uh, from Park Lane called Zoo. I found it on clearance and I thought it was perfect for these layouts or these photos. Um, I cut strips of two by 12 and then I'm cutting them in a half in half so now they are two by six these pieces of paper are double-sided so it was really nice to get double the paper and not as many papers I cut these paper but I cut these papers these two inch strips on um, going uh, vertically on you know the left side of the pad not that it matters if it was left or right but I did do it vertically and mostly because you see those stripped um, that paper that has the like strips of different um, animals and stuff so it worked out perfectly that way so I'm just arranging them in a way that looks pleasing now the bottom row of that are actually going to be going on that right side of the layout I just figured I didn't really need to pull both pages out just to organize you know how I wanted the um, strips to go so for now I'm putting those aside <clears throat> If you recall, and if you are a subscriber of mine, you see or you know that I just did another video with, again, a bunch of pictures from this birthday party. I took a ton of pictures, but I was really happy that I printed them out in the smaller sizes. And I've mentioned numerous times what I do is I just go to my local Walgreens and um, I create a four by six collage. If you took if you put two photos on there, they are approximately three by four, you know, like a wa uh, wallet size picture, or you can put more and you can get just multiple size photos. Um, but I, I kind of like that three by four look. So um, I did find my T roller, which I'm really excited about because I feel like I kind of do stuff straight with it. But the funny thing is, is if you notice, I don't even really use it to, to put this on. But um, so the nice thing about you know, starting from one end to the other is I really just needed to make sure that first one was all the way butt against that left edge. And then once I did that, I basically just adhered all the other strips just directly against it. Um, I did use my T-ruler to kind of make sure that I wasn't um, going too far down as far as the, um, the you know, the bottom layer uh, edge, but it, it looks fine. So um, again, right now I'm just grabbing some of those photos and I'm trying to figure out placement. I'm pretty happy with those four going across. So I'm going to go ahead and adhere those down. I'm not going to show you, <clears throat> you know, all four of them, but basically I just put some adhesive in the back and double-sided adhesive and placed them on that top level. Now I really apologize for the glare. If you are a follower of mine or a subscriber of mine, you have probably heard me say that we have this fluorescent light in our craft room that probably is something that should be like in a garage or something. It's absolutely wonderful when you need some light, but it also leaves a lot of glare. We um, jokingly call it the sun because sometimes that's what it looks like, especially when we're in here at night. Um, so this is the right side. And again, I'm just grabbing some more of those smaller pictures. And I pretty much grabbed every picture that I took or printed you know, you know, I took a lot more than what I printed. Um, and then I wanted to put them on this two page spread. So you see how I have some photos. I originally wanted them to go on that top edge. And then um, some of these other ones that I you could see on that bottom, there's that four by six. And then that other wallet size, that's pretty much the same photo. I wanted it in that kind of bottom corner. Um, I'm not really sure of the placement of those photos yet. I'm just kind of filling them out. But I do like the placement of the photos on top. So that's why I went ahead and adhered those. Now, um, I'm going to put a link below to both my blog and also the other video that I did um, on the first layout or two page spread of the birthday party. And I did a whole bunch of stamping, kind of cluster stamping. I'm not even sure if that's what it is, but that's what I'm calling it on those other layouts, which I absolutely loved. So I wanted to emulate the same thing over on this spread. So I just grabbed those same number two stamps, same color ink, and I just start like just stamping. And um, you'll see me do like multiple generations of stamping and what that means is you know you first ink up your stamp you um 
you know, you stamp it down on the paper and then you kind of keep stamping until the ink pretty much runs out. You don't re-ink. But I did that and then I added some green splash because it is a really bright green. And I just did that on the far right corner on the right side page and on the far left side on the left side page, which you can see right here. I also did some print and cut embellishments using my, uh, my Cricut and Design Space. And I love the way these turned out. In the other video or in the other layout, I put these animals in balloons and I made these kind of medallions, which I thought really looked well with this um, this page. And um, I matted this photo in that dark pink and then I realized it was so close to the dark pink on the, on the actual card, card base, oh my goodness, layout base so that's why i went ahead and matted it again with white and i think it really stood out i'm really trying to do like a little bit of a visual triangle with those um, medallions and i really like the way this looks i moved the smaller wallet size of the background or the backdrop up a little bit more so everything kind of looks like it belongs the one thing i do when i make my layouts is i like things to either be touching slightly touching or at least close enough together where it doesn't just look like a random splattering of anything, whether it's embellishments, photos, whatever. So um, that's why I really like the way that picture looks kind of up more so it looks like it's part of the other photos. I made this title in Cricut and I did cut all the layers with cardstock. And um, I just want to let you know that my film or my camera uh, battery died while I was filming so I didn't get all the rest of it but I, I do show you the photo of how it turns out it turned out super cute and I hope you do like it if you like this video give me a thumbs up you can also hit that subscribe button I try to post at least two videos a week one is always scrapbooking and one is whatever it is I'm creating in the command center which just happens to be the name of my craft room and also my blog you see here I realize oh my god my phone died but anyhow here are some close-ups I hope you enjoy it thank you so much for watching and leave me a comment and I'll be sure to answer bye